Beachmont Players, Anderson's resident theater company, is presenting Annie, August 2nd through the 11th at the Anderson Center Theater on Five Mile Road. Annie is a spunky Depression-era orphan, determined to find her parents, who abandoned her on the doorstep of an orphanage many years ago. It's run by the cruel Miss Hannigan. In adventure after fun-filled adventure, Annie foils Miss Hannigan's evil machinations, befriends President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and finds a new family and home with billionaire Daddy Warbucks. I'm here today with Lauren Kinker, the show's choreographer. Lauren, first of all, what does a choreographer do? Um, it is my responsibility um, to bring creativity to the stage through the musical numbers. So whenever you hear them singing, they're probably usually dancing as well. Well, great. So what other shows have you choreographed? Um, I did one for CMT. Um, HMS Pinafore. I've done numerous shows at Archbishop McNicholas High School, my alma mater, with our director Liz Ingram. So I've done a couple shows with her there. And then um, i also done high school dance teams and also co um, competition dances for the local um, studios as well. What is it that you like most about choreographing shows? I love seeing everyone get it. So, you know, it's that, that part when they look at me and they're like, oh my gosh, Lauren, you're nuts. I'm never going to get that step. And then throughout the process and rehearsals and repetition, by the time it comes to showtime, they don't even look like they have no clue what's going on. And they get it down, and it's flawless, and they're smiling, and they're singing, and they're dancing. So it's that I like. It's that final product. It's watching that transformation happen between first learning a step and then being able to put on a whole show. When you start out, do you have a picture of the whole dance in your mind? I do. So before I come into rehearsal, um, I spend probably, you know, a couple hours or thinking about what I want, where I want my... Um, dancers to move, how I want the scene to flow, where I want it to start and to end. And with all of this, it has to coordinate with what Liz is doing as the director and what Charlie wants them to do as, when they sing. So, you know, putting everything together, because I can't ask them to do a crazy hard dance move while they're singing a high note. Um, the, the ladies in the cast don't like that very much. But yes, I, um, I come up with my dance steps together, but I've also realized that as much as I come prepared, a lot of it happens in the moment, because sometimes what I think isn't always necessarily possible. Or I'll be there and I'll see the cast and they're able to do so much more than I ever thought they could do. So even though I come with an idea and I come with a picture and I come with notes, a lot of it changes um, in the moment. What's the most rewarding thing about working with this show? Um, it hasn't happened yet, but I know the most rewarding thing is going to be opening night. All the sweat, the tears, the agony, the fights, you know, the late nights, the early mornings, the hot days. Opening night, it's all going to come together and it's going to be amazing. Do you wink, ring for drink, drink will bring your tray. What has impressed you the most about the cast of Annie? I have never worked with such a talented cast of community members. Um, look at my, the adults and even myself. We all work full-time jobs and we come, we leave our full-time jobs at 5, 6 o'clock and we all come to rehearsal and work together as a group. These children in the show, this cast of orphans, I have never seen such talented young ladies in my life. I mean, vocally, they, they move well, they're amazing dancers. I mean, they play instruments, and I swear they have the most incredible stupid human tricks I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they could put on a one-person circus, like, just by these kids. Um, so they are amazing. So I am just impressed how we all have our own lives, and we come together, and we can put on a great show. Thank you for spending some time with these cast members from Beachmont Players' upcoming production of Annie. Come and see this talented cast in the very family-friendly musical Annie, August 2nd through the 11th in the Anderson Center Theater, 7850 Five Mile Road. For more information, you can call 233-2468 or come to beachmontplayers.org, where you can also learn about our October show, Passion of Dracula, a surprisingly funny take on this classic vampire tale. For Beachmont Players, this is Steve Phelan saying thank you for listening.